Hey everyone, welcome to this short video. I promise it won't be that long. This video is kind of a buffer between everything I did before and the next video, which will be on timers. And its inspiration was I was working on this project and I started to partition my code a little bit different because it was getting over 200 lines of code and different parts of code were affected and so I decided to start partitioning my code a little bit different. So what you can see in front of me right now is the main.c file with makefile beside it and then I have all the .c files and .h files on my right. So here I have two new files which are the master.c and master.h and these are the two files that I created. The purposes of these two files is that I put all my code that I use for this that should be inside the main.c file are now in these two files and master.h files as a header file includes all the definitions and all the function prototypes and the global variables all neatly partitioned in its own section and the master.c file includes all the function prototypes and all the function definitions so these are the, all the setup function and I created my way of setting this up into setup function which is the first part that usually was right uh, after the main function and then we have okay so we have spi accelerometer setup and then i have so-called user function and these are the function that i use so it makes life easier so uh, as we said before instead of sending spi you have to do all this garbage so you create a function for it also the usart functions and then are labeled as for what I do. So when you're searching for particular, oh, I want to edit on this function, you know, it's accelerometer data function. So you now you go into the master.c file and scroll down because it's not a setup function. And under the section accelerometer there, this function should lie. So all this function then interrupt function in the end. So this is a little way that I use uh, from now on because it's very neat and maybe I will make another file which will include all the lectures that we did on ADC, GPIO, RCC and everything and put it inside some kind of master.c and .h files so that way you can have one project that you can start like a big template in which you have already all the structures like the GPI structures, USART, SPI, ADC, M uh, DMA and all of those structures initialized and you, if you want to start prototyping on a particular section you can just open this uh, some kind of future uh, template and you can edit each particular uh, definition as you need for that project and enable different preferences as you need them. So this would be a very interesting uh, start to, of a template instead of just an empty main function. So, and another thing, when you create this, how can you tell the compiler to use this instead of actually to use as well as this, as, a, as well as other files? Well, if you go to the make file, we see that there's, I added the master.c file in the sources over here so we already discussed how you need to put in the sources like uh, rcc gpio so the compiler knows it, it has to compile this as well now we're putting the master.c as well inside everything else is left to stock only this has to be added also i said this is a little bit of a buffer video because i will add a few stuff and i have one correction uh, we have worked on the SPI and this project, as I said, uses SPI accelerometer that's on the board for uh, testing purposes. And we have set the SPI this way and it's completely the same. Only one thing, I left the baud rate prescaler on the maximum, which was the 2. And I said with the fastest setting, no problem. But the fact is that this accelerometer cannot accept the fastest setting and for some reason i don't know uh, this accelerometer right now did not work so i tried everything and then i changed this bot prescaler because it's only logical that this prescaler divides the input clock that's going into the spi and the spi is getting the 
APB2 clock, which is on my processor, the 84 megahertz, so the higher peripheral clock. As for APB1, which is not here, runs on the slower 42 meg, and the age clock runs on the full core clock. And 84 megahertz divided by 8, uh, or some other parameter includes, now I got lost, okay, 8, and then uh, we get the 10 megahertz approximately, which is uh, the maximum frequency for the sensor. And that's uh, that makes sense. And now it works correctly. You could lower this to 16 as well. You can go into the um, spi.c file and check it for yourself. But please correct this if you haven't. And I have another change that I want to address uh, when working with uh, timers in the future. Um, when I started preparing a file for the timer video, the timers weren't behaving uh, the, the correct frequencies. And I will talk about this in the video, but basically the system clocks were not as I thought they were. This was because I ran a little command from the RCC library and the clocks for the peripherals and the core were lower than they should be. And why is that? Well, only that happens only if the input uh, uh, PLLs and dividers for the input clock are not correct. I will discuss this in the next video, but in this video, uh, just make sure to correct everything that I did wrong. So please go into the system file, which uh, if I list all the files in the folder you should have, there should be a system.c file. So let's... Uh, uh, open this one and here in this file there are all the definition yeah the system clock should be 168 for my processor and the input crystal is 8 megahertz which is indeed and then I found this the PLLM so this is the master PLL so this is I will discuss this later basically this should match the megahertz of the input crystal but this document had default value 25, but the input crystal is 8 megahertz. As, and then I went down, and then this, the PLLM definition, was 25. So the master divider divided the input clock by 25 instead of 8. So the first clock would be 1 megahertz, and then it would be boosted by 336, and then divided by 2 for the system clock, and the system clock would be less than 168 megahertz. As well, the APB1 and APB2 clocks would not be 42 and 84 megahertz, as I thought. So when I divided, it, uh, the timers were not one second when they should be. So please also make sure that this definition is right in your system file. And uh, if you have the same board as me and download the same files from some reason had 25 in here, please correct it to 8. So... That should be all. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you in the next timer video. Bye.